Did you know that, that Donald Trump would be referencing you as part of the reason why all of this has now happened with Carrier and these thousand jobs? No, I had no idea. I understand that was your mom in the room who I think Mr. Trump was pointing at. Uh, do you remember the day that you were interviewed by a news network about jobs leaving your company? No, I don't. No, I don't actually. <laughs> okay, so but, you uh, don't remember at, it. Apparently, Donald Trump. Doesn't... I was at... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was at the fairground rally. I was at the fairground rally when he uh, asked, "Was any uh, carrier employees there?" And I shouted, "You know, we're right here." It was me and uh, Derek Cheney, and uh, he asked me, "You know, you know, how do you feel about them leaving and all that?" And you know, and I was pretty uh, upset about it. And, told him how I felt, and uh, he pretty much promised me that they were going to leave. Did you feel like, according, according to the president-elect, uh, he heard some guy, you, on the news saying, well, Donald Trump promised these jobs would be saved. So you believed Mr. Trump when he made his promise? Yes, yes, I, I, yes. I believed him 100%. That's why I voted for him. And... Uh, this was, you know, a promise that he was going to make us, and I believed in it. Have you, you, you haven't had a minute with the president-elect, I'm assuming, today, right? But if, if you were to, no, what would you no, say I, to him? No, I would just say, um, thank you for keeping your promise. And that, uh, you know, I believe in you, and today you're my hero, you know, and, and thank you very much.